Hey there, and welcome back. So, this is my new book, Making Games for the Commodore 64 in Assembly Language. Now, it's been out for, I think, a week or so in a PDF format, but now here we have the physical book. So, as you can see, it's a coil bound here, <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty thick, as you can see, 466 pages. So, the question now is, is the print quality any good? Well, I'm of course biased here, uh, since it's my book, but uh, I have to say that I, I think it's really good. Now, of course, um, that's a subjective thing, uh, but let's just go through this book and uh, you can see. So, I'm not gonna show you every single page here, but um, Let's just go through a few pages. Uh, by the way, um, my coil, uh, there was some uh, issue here with my coil, so it's a little annoying. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, standard, but um, you know, I, I just wanted you to make you aware of. I'm gonna show you a little closer now. It's this, the end part here. So it can be a little annoying. Uh, it's probably uh, because the book is so thick, but uh, when I turn the pages, you know, it could be an issue. I don't know. No, not that big of a deal. But anyway, I just wanted you to uh, be aware of that. So anyway, uh, we start with the uh, table of contents here. Uh, I tried to organize everything as uh, nice as I could. But let's just go ahead here and um, see if we can find some pictures with, uh, I mean some pages with, uh, with a few pictures. So here you go, here we can see uh, the print quality on the pictures. And uh, personally I was really impressed with uh, the details. I don't know if you can see it, but um, the detail in the pictures, uh, I think is really good. So uh, the book starts here by talking about the hardware, how the CPU and the uh, RAM works. There's some basic uh, stuff for the CPU and the RAM. And also of course how this works with assembly language. So uh, uh, like the uh, cover says, the front cover says here beginner friendly. I really had uh, uh, that as a focus when making this book. I really wanted this to be made for more or less absolute beginners. So yeah. Uh, now some some pictures are perhaps a little bit dark like this one. It's not too bad. Uh, and uh, this is of course the uh, this uh, Commodore 64 start screen that we uh, are all familiar with uh, anyway. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm not going to go through this entire book, but uh, I start talking about um, hardware and some uh, assembly basics. And then we get to this part of the book uh, where I describe step by step how to set up the uh, development environment uh, both for Windows and for Mac computers. Uh, so it's a very detailed guide step by step with pictures to show you how it's done. So we have that and let's see if we can go further here. Yeah. So then we have some more, um, more uh, assembly specific things, talking about variables, tables, stuff like that. And let's see. Yeah. And then start talking about actual programming, talking about how we can uh, plot uh, characters on the screen how that works and um, talking about the character set 
and uh, how that works, uh, the color codes, how the colors work on the Commodore 64. Then I talk about sprites. And also I try to have a, a, very, uh, a focus very much on how this fits into memory. That we always have to remember that the, all everything goes into memory on the Commodore 64. Yeah. So uh, and uh, also talk a lot about special memory addresses, um, like this one, for example, for enabling sprites, and it has some um, arrows that uh, describe what the, the address does, how it works, setting it up with the bits inside there. And then we have uh, quite a few code examples. So, yeah. Um, also talk about uh, chart pad and sprite pad. Um, very detailed, um, you know, getting started uh, guide for, for chart pad and sprite pad. So, this is not a book that's going to guide you from a to B. You know, this is not a recipe book. This is how you write, start writing a game. Do like this, 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 this. You know, this is not a type in book like that. So the point of this book is to teach you um, assembly language, how the Commodore 64 works, and how you can apply some different techniques to um, to actually make a game. So here's a chapter called uh, Making a Game. And it's not, like I said, it's not a step-by-step -step instruction. It's more how, about how you get started, how you plan your memory usage. And of course, uh, some code examples here. And I also talk about how I do it uh, when I start projects, like making some tables to make it easier for myself. And um, yeah, quite a few code examples to show you uh, how to do different things. So, um, yeah, and also talk about stuff like uh, uh, sprite collision and stuff like that. Some code examples for that as well. So, this, um, the whole point of this book is just to teach assembly language and um, show some visual examples to make it easier and also some code examples. And the, the, all the code examples can be downloaded from GitHub. There's a link in the book uh, where you can find them. And um, yeah, let's see here in the back, we have some appendixes uh, for screen codes. And there are some code examples, setting up custom character set, reading joystick input, and stuff like that. So, uh, all in all, it's a pretty comprehensive book. Uh, yeah, there we go with the coil, okay. So it's a pretty comprehensive book. Um, and uh, one detail that I found uh, uh, a little funny is that my book here is pretty much exactly the same size as the Commodore 64 Programmer's Reference Guide. They're pretty much exactly the same, even the thickness is almost the same. So I thought that was a little bit uh, funny. So anyway, this is the finished product. Uh, now you can get this like this uh, as a physical book, uh, but it's also available as an ebook, a PDF format. And for those who are interested, there's also a little notebook uh, that comes th th that you can order uh, in addition to this. Now, like I said in the community post, that's just a fun little extra. You don't need it. It's just a normal uh, notepad, lined notepad, just to make notes when you're working with this book. Nothing special, it's just a fun little extra thing. So, yeah. I just wanted to make this uh, short little video to show you uh, this book, talk a little bit about uh, what's inside, and that's it for now. So I'm gonna leave uh, the links for the book uh, down in the description, and if you want to check it out,
you can find it over at lulu.com so anyway that's it for now and i'll see you in the next video bye bye